Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Hack the Normal 2022. It's fantastic to have so many of you tuning in from all around the world. My name is Sebastian Tupi, and I have the pleasure to be your host for this hackathon. We're excited to kick off the third edition of Hack the Normal, an initiative created by Archelic to empower ideas that can have a positive impact on the planet and the future of our planet. This year, Hack the Normal is hosted by Beko to focus on the European landscape of sustainability challenges. And from today until Sunday, we'll have 100 teams, 100 of you, working on a range of selected sustainability challenges. We'll also have a lineup of speakers and workshops that are going to be there to inspire you, the participant, and motivate you to work on all of those wonderful ideas. But for now, I would like to welcome Utku Barispasar, the Chief Strategy and Digital Officer at Archelic, to share with us what we're looking for today and how we can all play a role for a greener and better future. Thank you, Sebastian. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Welcome to our Hack the Normal Sustainability Hackathon. I'm greeting you from our Garage Innovation Hub in Istanbul. I'm proud to share with you that our three days event will be Europe's largest sustainability hackathon, as well as the first ever carbon neutral one. These days, our minds and bodies continue to be tested every day. The pandemic is leaving its place to a nervous return to normal with a global economic downturn. More than ever, we need solutions that will ensure a sustainable future. We must find effective ways to a sustainable living on this planet. At Archelic, we want to be part of the solution. Therefore, in this hackathon, we are targeting this fundamental question. How can we leverage technology to create a positive impact towards sustainable living? And to answer this question, we have decided to focus on three key elements that we believe are vital. These three elements are circular economy, water management, and climate change. Let me explain a little more. We need to focus on circular economy because according to the Circularity Gap Report 2021, our world is only 8.6% circular. It means over 90% of the materials extracted today are wasted. Only 8.6% makes it back into the world economy. So we need to create circularity. Second, we need to focus on water management. Currently over 2 billion people do not have access to safe drinking water, according to UNICEF. This is roughly one in every four people on this planet. This roughly translates to almost one in every family. Last but not least, we need to focus on climate change. For climate change, even limiting the global warming to 1.5 degrees is not safe. With 1.5 degrees of global warming, many glaciers around the world will disappear or lose their, most of their mass. We need to create more awareness, find innovative solutions, and funds towards the net zero economy. At Archilic, this is our third Hack to Normal Hackathon. And since our first hackathon, we've repeatedly renewed our commitment to new technologies and open minds. This year's Hack to Normal is hosted by our global brand, Beko, a leading brand in many markets and one of the top three large home appliances brands in Europe. In this event, we will be bringing together the brightest mind from all around the world. Over the next three days, over 400 participants from 70 countries will get together to create innovative solutions for sustainable living. Throughout this weekend, they will go through a journey full of inspiration and co-learning sessions to cross-pollinate ideas. Throughout the weekend, we will support our hackathon participants with 29 speakers, 20 coaches, and over 50 mentors from our global partners such as Amazon, Microsoft, Accenture, and TNW. And at the end of the hackathon, the winning teams will be awarded a prize pool of 50,000 euros. Last but not least, 
Also, three of the winning teams will be eligible to participate in Startup Wise Guys online pre-accelerator program to bring their ideas to fruition. Hack to Normal is not an event only for the hackathon participants. It's for all of us. Throughout this event, there will be five fantastic panels to inspire us on solutions to the most pressing people's of problems of our planet. I'm also very excited to hear what our keynote speaker, Boris, the founder of TNW, has to say in the next part of our event. Let's spare the next three days on thinking on our planets, peoples, and our dear one's future. I personally think that I will have a lot to learn. Finally, I also have some great news to share with you. As Archelic, we are launching a new global initiative to create awareness on climate change. Our goal is to create awareness on individual level, provide usable tips to promote sustainable choices, and finally provide individuals a platform to offset their carbon footprint. Let's be carbonfree.com. That's the URL of our new platform, a digital tool. So I highly encourage you to visit www.letsbecarbonfree.com. There, you can analyze your carbon footprint and more importantly, offset it by donating to selected project. This is an initiative that we are very proud of, have a lot of expectations. Please remember, this is a friends and family release, so feel free to explore it and give us your feedback as we develop this very important digital platform. Before I wrap up, I want to thank all the teams that worked in the organization of this event. The strength of our innovative responses as a company relies heavily on hardworking teams committed to our purpose. I would like to also thank media brands, TNW and FD Talent, all our partners and collaborators for their efforts and help. Together, we will ensure the quality and success of this event. Finally, dear Hackathon participants, I look forward to hearing your brilliant ideas and learning from you. Let's work together and also have fun throughout this three-day event. Now, I would like to give the stage to our CEO, Hakan Bulgurlu, to deliver his message to us today. Thank you. Well, cool. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm actually recording this brief video uh, for the hackathon from our Manisa plant in southern Turkey, where actually you can really feel the impact of climate change more than anywhere else or any other or one of our campuses that I've recently visited. It's spring, but the temperatures are so hot, it's difficult to walk around uh, without sweating. All over the world, we are feeling the impact of the coming climate crisis. Actually, I don't even want to say coming anymore because it is here. Clearly here, and unfortunately, as, as humanity, we are not doing enough uh, to avert this. Now, innovation uh, is literally at the center of everything we do and is part of our DNA at Archie. This is how we have become the leader in terms of our sustainability transformation. As you all know, we lead the Dow Jones Sustainability Index. Uh, we're in the, uh, and many of the accreditation organizations around the world recognize our leadership in terms of our efforts to decarbonize a business which effectively is manufacturing, which is very difficult to decarbonize. We have set very ambitious goals to ourselves, and these goals require that we reduce by 50% all of our emissions, scope one, two, and three, but especially three which is the difficult part, reducing the emissions caused by our products while they're being used by our customers. This is where you come in. In this three-day session, uh, you will have a chance to come up with ideas that are executable that will help us fulfill those goals. When we made those promises, we made them to keep to a 1.5 degree warmer world. Even a 1.5 degree warmer world in 2100 is an unlivable world, in my opinion. So as leaders, as teams, uh, our responsibility, in fact, I believe our fiduciary duty requires that we make these cuts and set these ambitious goals. There's only one problem. The technology today does not exist to actually make those cuts possible. And this is a game where you come in. Over the next three days, you're going to come up with brilliant ideas which will help us decarbonize or help us save resources, water, circularity, whatever it may be, 
The questions are central to our existence as human beings. One, how can we reduce our impact on Earth, Mother Earth and the climate? Two, how can we continue our business in a much more sustainable way? What new ways of working can we bring in? What new technologies can we think of? What ideas can we come up with that can turn into ex executable uh, ideas uh, that will actually become businesses on their own? Please treat these three days as an opportunity to learn, but also an opportunity to actually accelerate the execution of the brilliant ideas that you will have. So thank you very much for joining. Um, and I very much look forward to seeing the outcome. Thank you for listening to me.